Hey, what is up and what is going on? It's your host, Eric, back here at DIY with the big guy. Got a special little review we're gonna to do today in an unboxing. The fine folks over at Alloy, Alloy Man sent me this 40 volt cordless leaf blower out and we're gonna unbox it and see what's inside the box. Um, it may, I may have to break it up just a little to get the batteries charged and show you um, the product in action. But first off, let's get it unboxed and see what's all inside. All right, guys, like I said, let's get it opened up and see what all we have inside. Right on the top here, we have the charger. The thing I like about this one compared to my 20 volt, this one has the dual battery charger, so that'll come in handy. Got the blower tube, which it says that it does um, 500 CFMs and I don't have any type of device to measure that to see if it actually holds true. And this one actually, now on the box it says it comes with two 20 amp hour batteries, but these are actually the four amp hour batteries, so that's a nice um, addition. And like I say, I don't know if all of them will come that way or not. And we also have the blower itself. It's got a pretty decent weight to it. I want to say this thing is slightly over five pounds with the batteries and all connected. And it's got the, set this here. It's got the owner's manual. And it's got a, a little set screw. This is what, once you attach your blower tube onto the blower, this is what secures it into place. All right, guys, as I said, just going over some of the, I just read over the owner's manual. Their owner's manuals don't really show a lot of information. Um, I think that's something they could improve on a little. But, and I don't want to bore you with this, but like I say, <clears throat> it's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Putting the tube on, it just pushes on here, just align it. it. Just slides right in, it's got that little spring-loaded clip there. Like I say, is the set screw grows in the bottom. I just went ahead and grabbed a screwdriver because I don't think I'll have any reason to, to not leave the screw in it for transportation or anything. So just simply install this little set screw. Just don't get all crazy with it because it is plastic. And just one of the things I've seen here right now, the sticker here, I think I saw on someone else's review, it wasn't fully stuck down. So, I mean, it's no big issue. And the batteries are showing fully charged, as you can see on this one and this one, but Per owner's uh, manufacturer's instructions, it says to fully charge both batteries before first time use, which is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it won't take them too awful long and I may be able to get it out before the sun goes down. And I'll show you the product in action. I took it and I just stuck the batteries on there. With the batteries on um, from end to end, it was like 36 and a half inches. It feels like it's probably a little heavier than five pounds. It may be in the six, seven range. I may have to take it in the bathroom, throw it on the scale, just uh, if you all are concerned about the weight. It's got a pretty good balance with the batteries on it. Um, pretty basic stuff. So what I'll do is I'm gonna throw these batteries on the charger and then once I get done, I'll take it out and I'll probably just uh, on the lowest, I think on the lowest setting it says it should, it, it should give you up to 60 minutes of run time. And that's with the two, two amp hour um, excuse me, the two, yeah, the two 20, 20 volt amp hour batteries. But this one, like I said, these are the four amp hour batteries. So I don't know if that's going to increase the run time to two hours. We'll put it to the test and see. Like I say, I'll put it on the lowest setting and in, on the highest setting because it does have a high low button on the highest setting. I think it's supposed to give you between 16 to 20 minutes at set it high. So like I said, we'll get the batteries charged get the batteries installed and then we'll take it out for a test run all right so i got the batteries fully charged and as you can see now is the perfect time to try this rascal out now, i can't tell a lie i have 
turned it on and so far I'm, I am impressed with it. So I'm going to start off with it in the low and then I'll switch the settings to high and you'll be able to hear the difference in the motor. All right, sorry about that. My battery died. We're going to start, start over as you can see. I didn't make it far and it is 530. Switch it to high. Okay, you know we started at five. Hold on, McDonald's. Started at five thirty on the dot. You see it's five thirty-four, and you can see in just those four minutes how much area we've cleared. Pretty impressive. Now we're just going to see where the batteries are. Like I said, it was just four minutes. Still showing four bars. Still showing four bars. Okay, it's 542 now. Can't see for my big head. There we go. It's 542 and both batteries are still at four bars. Primarily I had it on high for the most part except when I first started the video, so We'll go in and wrap the video up and I'll just give you some first impressions, first time use, and we'll conclude this video.
All right, guys, I just want to wrap this video up real quick. As you can see, leaf season is upon us. So just want to give you some of my final thoughts on the Alamin 40 volt leaf blower. As you can see, just from the last comparison between the 20 volt and the 40 volt, it's really no comparison. So um, I'd recommend this product. And like I said, they're not paying me to say this. I do thank you again, Alamin, for sending this product over for me to try out. Um, like I say, ergonomics and everything feel good in the hand. I'm really impressed by the productivity of the product. Um, the price point is good. They're currently on sale for $119.99. They're listed at $129.99 on Alamin's weather, um, excuse me, on Alamin's website, but they are currently out of stock. So I guess that means that they are selling off the shelves pretty fast. So if you get a chance or you're in the market for a, a good um, lightweight, I guess this would be middle of the road um, cordless blower. I'd say this is a great option. Um, I think I've been getting close to the 20 minutes on the run time. I've had it for about a month now, and I think I've been getting the 20 minutes on high that the uh, product um, says that it'll do. And like I say, this one does have the two um, four amp hour batteries compared to the two two amp hour batteries. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I'm not for sure if they give that option on the website, but um, just check into it. But overall, highly pleased with the product. And as you can see, I'm gonna get back to getting these leaves up. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comments and I will try to respond back to you as quick as possible. But that's all for now. Thank you all for tuning in and watching and we'll see you in the next video.